So we're on Wednesday. So I've taught three days of the new CSWIP 3.1 scheme. Big changes to the exam structure, as you can see in our other videos. Uh, so in short, you know, we've gone from uh, five exams where we had a plate, a pipe, macro, uh, 16 multiple choice question paper and a 30 multiple choice question paper. And now it is an 80 question multiple choice, a question paper on welder calls and weld procedures where you actually look at welder calls and weld procedures and ask some, answer some questions around that. And then eight segments of a, uh, a plate where you, you answer questions on each segment and accept against two acceptance criteria. In the feeling I haven't taught the first three days now is nothing has changed too much. The technology is technology. If you have welding, which is MMA, None of that's changed. The um, the practical, nothing has changed to a degree because defects are still welding defects. You know, lack of fusion, lack of fusion, underfill, undercut, all that type of thing. Um, if you've been preparing for the free one for a while and you followed a lot of stuff generally online, of course, that's, that's all out the window from an exam standpoint. So check out our video about what the exams look like now. Um, but I felt from a, from a teaching position that it's, it's nicer to teach. Um, the way the questions are given, especially for the practical side, it's a bit more straightforward to communicate, to teach, to answer questions, because we're not getting lost in things like, oh, I measured a defect, it's six mil, and you've said seven mil, what's going on? You know, not all of that is taken out. It's you measure it, you, you accept and reject in your own head. It, and at the end of the day, the measurement doesn't matter too much, as long as you get the right accept and reject, and you should easily do that. Um, so generally good. We've got one more day tomorrow of teaching ahead of the exam on Friday. I think the class is pretty much where we need them to be. Um, as always, halfway through the week, uh, on the Wednesday, there's been an awful lot of information given. Uh, mine start to just get frazzled with trying to take too much information in. Um, the homeworks are quite good. Uh, new homeworks. Uh, which are broken into leading questions like the exam and then a paper version of a drag and drop which gives you a question and lots of answers that you have to select in the paper but in the exam you will drag the acceptable questions and the rejectable things into two boxes uh, but generally okay uh, in all honesty it's it, it I feel better teaching the way it is now than the way it was last week um, and I hope that comes across in my teaching because I, I feel a little bit reinvigorated that I'm teaching people how to find defects and use acceptance criterias rather than how to measure something to answer a question uh, and that's fun you know and, and especially with the, the leading questions as well what is a what is an answer what is technically an answer and then how is that applied I, I like and i get to talk and we get to drag lots of things in from you know from weld inspection from pressure equipment directive you know from asme all of this type of thing build and round to give somebody a really big picture um but yeah that's it that's that's my update for from the week i think um i might do one of these when we finish the exams on friday to give an overall feel uh, no exam questions or anything like that of course but just just how it feels and how it runs uh, and it's a glorious day today here in Oxford um, so I'm gonna go and get sorted and enjoy my evening ready for tomorrow so as always good luck with your studies stay safe